So when should you replace Toyota timing chains? So for the longest time, we've had timing belts. Every 69,000 miles, you replace them and life is good. Timing belts were rubber, rubber dries up, and it could break, and that's a problem. But when we moved over to timing chains, possibly the number one question I get all the time from my viewers is, when should you replace that timing chain? Folks, I might have mentioned this in another video, timing chains do not have a life interval. You, there's no point where you get to certain miles and you have to replace them. Some of these timing chains can go the life of the car. Unlike other manufacturers, Toyota's timing chains are really good. There has to be a reason for them to really necessitate replacement. Today, I wanna show you a timing chain that we are actually replacing and why. This is a 2010 Toyota RAV4. With the right around 150,000 miles, this engine is a 2ARFE 2.5 liter four cylinder. It does have a common problem with the rattle on cold start. You replace the intake VBTI gear, which is this guy right here. We also talked about this in another video. This causes a rattle, you replace it with an updated unit, and life is good. But when you take these engines apart and you pull the chain off, that's when we know if this chain needs to be replaced or not. Timing chains have paint marks on them. So you can line up the timing, you know, the timing lines, you match up the paint to that and same thing with the crank and that's how you time these engines. But these paint marks, they're not just there to time the engine, they're actually wear indicators. If the chain overheats, those paint marks will burn and it'll dissipate and then that tells you as a mechanic, you need to replace this chain. And that's exactly what we have in this RAV4 and I'll show you why it overheated. So if you notice, there's no paint marks here, but if you really look close, right on this link, that's actually what used to be painted and that's how they look from far away, can't really tell, but when you come close, you still can see the painted ones. Here is one right here. And then if we keep looking, here is the other one. And then if you go around, you're gonna see the, uh, the last one, which is this one right here. But I mean, you can barely tell probably really hard to see it on camera. You can barely tell. Usually these are super bright and you can see them from a mile away, but I can't see anything. And here's the back of that in case you guys want to see it. This chain overheated. When they overheat past their normal operating temperature, that's when Toyota wants you to replace them. Let's talk about why a chain overheats. Look, we're not talking about some other manufacturers that chains and guides always stretch and break and all kinds of problems. This is Toyota Land. The only reason on this engine at least that you will see a chain that needs replacement is because of the VBTI gear. When the VBTI gear rattles, there is a guide that sits right here at the top. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. That breaks which is this one. If you notice here, the chain has been riding on this piece of metal. You can see that it even dug, I can feel this with my fingernails. It dug into this. Now this engine was completely quiet, other than the cold start rattle, was completely quiet. However, inside, this chain has been wearing into this, and this is supposed to have this plastic on it, which when the VVTI rattles, this rattles with it and it eventually breaks off. This is very inexpensive and I usually replace them regardless if they're broken or not when we do one of these BBTI jobs. But this is what actually caused this chain that otherwise would have lasted the life of the car to start rattling. Because if we look at the other guides, and this is a testimony to Toyota quality, here's 150,000 miles on this guide. It's perfect. It does have a little bit of a groove and likely this is there because the chain overheated, but otherwise it's not broken, it's in one piece, there's really nothing wrong with it. Let's look at the other guide. Here is that. Again, we have the groove wore into it, but otherwise, nothing. Nothing is broken, nothing is worn, everything looks good, this is where the tensioner goes. Looks perfect. Same thing with the tensioner. Here's that chain tensioner. It's an internal tensioner, a ratcheting style tensioner. Nothing really wrong with it. It's hydraulic operated and it has a lock right here. That's really about it with this tensioner. Folks, you do not need to worry about your timing chain ever on Toyotas unless there is a reason. 
You take your 2AR, for example, and you see this, this guide is broken. That is a giant red flag. You need to address this because eventually that guide will be completely worn, the metal part, and then this comes off. And when this piece of metal gets jammed in the, in the chain, you're going to have serious problems. And the second thing is when this comes off, this could end up in the oil pan if it breaks in multiple pieces. Now in this one, we got lucky. It, it was actually caught in the front cover. Like it was literally sitting somewhere here. It just fell off from the top and it made its way here. But if this gets jammed in the chain, it could undo it and there goes the engine. Or if this breaks into small pieces, it could jam up the oil pickup. That's not good. Whenever you're doing a valve cover for whatever reason, you need to check your chain. And this is my problem with the procedure from the factory to do the VVTI gear here. And that's why I pull the front cover off. Here's the front cover on this car. I pull it off to do this job. Yes, there is a factory procedure to do the VVTI gear without removing the cover and everybody is happy about that. That's not a good procedure because when you're going in there, you won't be able to really get a clear picture of the chain. You're just gonna see the top, you're not gonna see the whole chain. Are the paint marks gone? How do you know? If this is under warranty, this car has 20,000 miles. Yeah, maybe, but at this stage, how do you know? I'd rather take it off, check everything, check all the guides, make sure everything is good. Make sure when this customer spends a small fortune to replace this gear, they're not gonna have problems after six months. This is the problem with the other procedure that does not require to remove the front cover. So going back to the original conversation, Folks, Toyota timing chains last a very, very long time. However, things like this will wear them out. This chain could have lasted a very long time, but here we are replacing it. We're actually waiting for the replacement to arrive. And one more thing on the chain. When you do get to a point where you are replacing the chain, not only replace the chain, at this point replace all the guides and the tensioner. And the reason for that is this guide has the chain, this chain, grooved into it. And this chain potentially is slightly stretched or overheated. That means it dug further into this plastic. When you go put a new chain here, you could if potentially have abnormal wear in this guide and you could break it. So when you put a new chain, put new guides. Otherwise, I don't care if this engine has 400,000 miles. You pull the chain, the paint marks are clear and clean, and you can easily see them from far away. That chain's going back. It would be a total waste of money to put a new chain. That is how good Toyota chains are, folks. They really last a long time, unless there is a reason for them to fail. On the V6, I don't think I've ever replaced a chain on a V6, like the 2GR FV, because the paint marks were gone. Either the customer wanted it, or a VVTI gear broke, and literally broke the chain in half or something like that. But I've never replaced it because it's simply worn. They just don't wear. They're really that well made. So keep that in mind. And here's that question answered for you. You never have to replace the timing chain on Toyotas unless there is a problem, which is the paint marks are gone and you can no longer see them clearly. Folks, I hope this video is helpful and informative. I hope you learned something new. If you like it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some other videos. And until the next video, folks, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And you have yourself a wonderful day.